What do you say to 10 minutes a day of just happy-go-lucky Super Mario Kart? Oh yeah, man, going back to 1992, I played this game so much as a kid. And my sister played it with me too, one of the only games that she did. But I beat 50 and 100 off screen. I haven't touched 150 yet. It's been a while too, so I'm probably gonna be terrible with that. Gotta be Yoshi, he's my go-to character. Ever since I was a kid. I've played as pretty much everybody, but... But yeah, I got some practice in and it feels good. I miss this game, so I want to play it. And we'll probably just do like a really short video every day and just... Take it easy. Let's, let's see if we get the boost. Yes! That's how the boost works in this game. As soon as the first light goes off, hold the gas and hope for the best. It's easy to do it too early or too late, though. Oh, here we go. Koopa Troopa wants some. What? You can't be jumping over that. Yeah, that's right. It comes back. How's it taste, Koopa Troopa? Boom. Don't be messing with Yoshi. Oh, he's throwing nanners. Yeah, this game is unique. I love it so much, though. Compared to other Mario Karts, everybody goes in a linear fashion and it creates a sense of predictability that's so fun to mess with. Each character, whoever you play as, there's a specific loadout of racers. Like with Yoshi, your first place competition is always going to be Koopa Troopa, then Donkey Kong Jr., then Princess Peach, then Bowser, and exactly as you see it on the map down there. But if you can mess it up, like for instance on the final lap, if I knock out Koopa Troopa and he comes in fifth, He's gonna be in fifth for the rest of the circuit. And that's just fun to do with. As a kid, I used to just purposely go slow and drive with the line of people and mess up the race order. I would like do a personal challenge myself with that. But also, oh, also this. Everybody, right here. He's gonna hit it, watch. Somebody's gonna hit it. Come on, Peach. There we go. Yeah! This means Bowser might place fourth instead of Princess. Come on, Bowser! Go, Bowser! Yes, yes! Good job, Bowser! Boom, how's it taste, princess? That's right. She's got a mean mug in this game. I never liked her. She always wants to be like Yoshi, but she can't. But yeah, I don't know, this game is so much fun, dude. There's something about it. It has a sense of speed that not even F-Zero has. Especially when you pick 150. Like, you get flying, and your car starts sounding like a lawnmower, and it's amazing. Okay. Oh, I was too late on that one. Okay, well, better than being too early. Banana right here and they should hit it. Actually, I think that might have been too far to the left. But this is Donut Plains. The terrain here is bad for Yoshi. Yoshi has good acceleration. And I guess a pretty typical top speed, nothing really major. But his handling is a little bit crazy. And it's most notable on these tracks and the icy ones. Yeah, you can tell this is like the old Super Nintendo way of it looks like you're driving, but you're not. Yoshi's stationary in the center of the screen, and it's actually the map that's moving as you press the directions on the controller. But it works so well. Here we go. He's going to hit that. Watch. Boom. Predictability. I always remember that. Every... Well, I'm still relearning it, but I still have a vague idea of specific spots in every track that the computer is guaranteed to hit, because that's the thing. If you're about to lap the 8th place person and you get right behind him and plant a banana, you're guaranteed that the next person behind you is going to run over that banana because they follow that same straight line. So that's like where the fun of this is, is messing with the AI race order. But yeah, everybody says Mario Kart 64 is the best, but for some reason I never really could get into that game. I never owned it, so I didn't spend a lot of time with it as a kid. And I find it, I don't know, there's just something about Mario Kart 64 that bugs me, and I, I can't get into it. And I'm not good at it either. Boom, there we go. Double Dash I played a lot of as well, but the thing about Double Dash is, that even though that's fun, and a lot of people say that's the best Mario Kart game, the carts feel very slow in that game. Like, there's no sense of speed. It feels like you're just kind of rolling downhill on like a horse and buggy carriage without the horse. There's something weird about it, but this game gets it right. There's just, you sound like a high-speed lawnmower about to explode, and the track just goes flying, especially on 150. And it's a solo thing. Like, Double Dash, this whole thing was you got to pick two characters, which was fun. But I still think this might be my favorite Mario Kart ever, and it might be nostalgia bias, because I played this so much as a kid. I love these courses, too. Ghost Valley, the track is so slick. And you can hear it. Listen to Yoshi's engine. And the squeakiness. Oh, I missed it. 
Also, another thing about this game, there's a feather power-up that was never reintroduced in the Mario Kart series. And it lets you jump over crazy things and do shortcuts that are a lot of fun, especially when you're going high speed. Now, center of this jump, is he's guaranteed to hit it. Right here. Watch Koopa Troopa on the bottom screen. Boom! And he falls off! Imagine if that was the final lap, he would be screwed. Yeah, yo, she's going now. Ten coins. Get your speed going. Yes, there's the feather. All right, let's take the shortcut. This thing is awesome. Watch this. Boom. Oh, that's so cool. Mushrooms. Using a mushroom before a jumper is a lot of fun, too. It makes a crazy boing noise that's just so satisfying, and you go flying. No mushy. Oh, the lawnmower. Shifted gears. There we go. Mushroom Cup is easy. I love the final track of Mushroom Cup as well. Because that's another one. There's a specific spot. There's a huge ramp jump. And if you spin out the computer players on it, they get stuck on the wall and fall down the ramp and have to loop back around. And it completely screws up the race order. And you can watch for the whole five laps your first place competition just desperately trying to get back to second place. And usually he doesn't make it. I can't tell you how many times I did that as a kid. Oh, I think I was too late on that one again. Dang it. All right, Yosh, let's do it. First spot that the computer always goes between these two thwomps right here. Boom, somebody's gonna hit that. Yep. Oh, I missed the other zipper. Also, right between these two thwomps, they're guaranteed to spin out. I love the Bowser's Castle tracks, too. Awesome music. It's the Mario World Bowser Fight music remixed, right? Yeah, this game just feels amazing. I love it. Double zipper, boom! Wide turn! Hop! That's the other thing, too. You can just hop. The hop is broken in this game, because if you're about to collide into a wall or something, if you hop just before it, you don't lose speed, and you're just right back in it. And that's a lot of fun to do. And you can also adjust your handling with it, as you see I'm doing. This straightaway, too, with the double zippers. I remember, clear as day, I was playing this game on 150cc, and I was doing so good. And I was about to set a record. Or it felt like it. There's no record tracking in the Grand Prix of this game. And we had to go to my aunt's house or something like that. And my mom grabbed the controller out of my hand and wrapped it up with the wires and put it in the cabinet where it was sitting because my Super Nintendo was in a weird little cabinet for some reason. Because my mom hated wires laying out. And, uh... When she wrapped up the controller, she must have unpaused the game. So when we got back home, and I wanted to get back to the race, I turned on the TV and the timer at the top was at like 99 something. It was something ridiculous, like maxed out. It was not moving and I was stuck in a wall and everybody had finished. And I was so mad. Yep, just childhood memories. My sister loved being Toad and she could beat me sometimes. Toad can be good if you know what to do with him. His, his handling's too tight for me, though. I would have to get used to it. I've only been playing as Yoshi so far. Oh, yep. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, that's the other thing, too. Everything below, fifth place and below is set, because it's always awards zero points. So with Yoshi, it's always... Well, it's supposed to be Bowser, Mario, Toad, Luigi. That's the order. And that cannot be changed, even if, let's say, Luigi comes in 5th, it's gonna default him back to 8th place, because that's where he belongs when you're playing as Yoshi. But, you can edit it if you force Luigi, if you hang back there, and just keep on nailing everybody in front of Luigi, because there's a weird rubber banding in this game, where whatever place is immediately behind you, they get a speed boost. And, uh, so you could make Luigi in 8th place right now, just by staying in front of him, you can make him crawl up the butts of every other racer and just climb the ranks that way. And if you time it just right on the final lap, you could get him into fourth place and suddenly he will, he will be in the permanent ranking list as the either fourth or fifth place driver, depending on his point value. Like, he'll, he won't be defaulted back to eighth place. And I used to do that so much as a kid. Also, did you see what I did with Koopa Troopa? I'm going to do it again to DK Jr. Right here. Boom. But well, look at how far back Koopa Troopa is. He's in seventh, and he's desperately trying. They go super fast, and now you can see DK Jr. just struggled and fell down the ramp. So those guys are going to be struggling for the rest of the race just to get back up to second and third. And this is fun to do. Boom. 
Get out of the way, Luigi. Don't even put your little blinker on. That's another thing, too. Every character has a unique power-up. Yoshi fires eggs. Koopa Troopa fires green shells. Toad and Princess Peach fire mushrooms that shrink you much like lightning bolts. DK Jr. is all about the banana peels. Oh, Bowser spun out. Actually, I probably just aided. Peach is coming in second, it looks like. Or Princess. She wasn't Peach yet. They made it back! Wow, if I didn't spin out Bowser, he would have came in third. Or he would have came in second. And then Princess would have been third. Yeah, that's fun to do. I might do like a little bonus episode of that. Just helping out the eighth place guys climb up to first place. <laughs> that's fun to do. But there you go, just like that, the Mushroom Cup is done. Just a very quick, casual thing. And I suppose tomorrow we'll do a video of the Flower Cup. Oh yeah, Super Mario Kart is fun. I like it. So thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for the Flower Cup. Take care.